We'll start with a Partridge Sprite S2100, size 14. And we've got some Wisp A Taut white. And we've just attached this. This is the Mesis shrimp, a very important foodstuff. Remove that. Come back to there. Then what we need is some of this uh, ultra lace tubing. This is one millimetre clear. Now what we do is we take a length of that, just a short length, and what we want to do is to cut the end to an angle like that. And then we cut a little V out of the end like that. Now, not necessary, but it adds a little another dimension to the pattern. Then we need some pearl crystal flash, just a short length. And what we do is we place this in the tube. Sorry. We place this in the tube like so. And then we just measure the length of the body, which is about right there. Go around twice loosely and then we tighten up on that tube. Go forward, same again. Like so, and then we can remove that. And we go back, securing the body. Now I take a cautery tool. Now what I want to do is give the body the correct shape here. So I turn this upside down and we don't touch the tube. We just want to go in close to it. And the body needs to bend upwards here. Like that, and then we turn it around again, and we want the body to bend downwards. Like so, that's the correct shape. And what we can do is just trim off that there, and go forward. Now I've got this small plastic nymph eyes, you can use mono or bead eyes, bead chain, if you want to add extra weight. And of course if you want to add extra weight you can put lead wire in the uh, tube as well instead of the crystal flash. We just secure those eyes like so, and then we go back here and then I'm using this uh, Pearl Sparkle dub clear, uh, dubbing so we want a little length of this, like that and we'll tie this in on top go over the body go forward excellent we come back to there, spin our tying thread anti-clockwise and we want to split the tying thread, bring it up like that, use our dubbing needle and we take a little more, just a pinch of the glister Get the other stuff out of the way because it will get caught up if not. I'll do this, then we'll spin that up. Into a dubbing brush. That's good. 
I'm going to go over here, build up the body. You can tie these. This is a 14 I'm doing, but 16 works well. And we take all the glister at the back and we pull it over to form a shell back. Tie that down. Lift it all up. Give it a whip finish. Excellent. Remove that. Pull all this forward and trim that off like so. Turn this around, brush all the fibres forward before we cut them. And we can trim these off, slightly sloping backwards. We take our UV resin, this is uh, uh, BET4, this is a low viscosity resin. And just turn that around and we want to just put a tiny bit on the shell back there and we give that a blast. This just stops the other stuff soaking in and then we go on the rear of the flight and we just come up over. Let's turn it around again so it flows the correct way. Give it a blast. And then just continue until you get the desired body shape. And that's the finished Mises shrimp. If you enjoy the videos, please like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.